It is not your business, Dwight. If the branch is in trouble, there are things you can do. What do you know about management, Dwight? I know that we need to cut costs. We could fire Meredith. That's a big cost. Not firing anyone. Creed might be living here. We could charge him rent. What? Four nights a week I stay here and live in this office. Everything is right here. It's easy to get to. I sleep under my desk, and then three nights I stay at my place in Toronto. They don't know about this job up there. It's a welfare state. Now look, firing people is bad for morale, and it's especially bad for the person being fired also. So I just you know what this office needs is upsizing. We need to have our spirits lifted. Lift it up. Lift it up. This is weird with you facing the other way. Yeah, I never even knew that part of the office existed. Hey, who's that guy? That's Stanley Hudson. Huh. He's one of our salesmen. Seems like a nice enough guy. Oh, very. What about, uh... Mm. That is... Janet Fenstermaker. Really? You should say hi. Use her full name. Thank you for all of this. This is so helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? One last question. Um, who is that fine older gentleman in the corner? Um, that is Creed Bratton. He has four toes, and he fought in the Civil War. For the North? For both sides. Whoever paid more. Obviously. Yeah. Hey, um, sorry, seriously, can you guys... I'm trying to get some work done. Sorry, man. Creed Bratton, guitar player for Grassroots in the late 1960s. I am indeed. How'd you know that? I wrote your obituary. Oh, oh, that's right. Hey, good work. Thank you very much, sir. About 10 years ago, for tax reasons, I faked my own death. I've been collecting benefits as my own widow ever since. Know what some people call a donkey? Um, a burrow. An ass. So we're gonna hit the ass with a stick until candy comes out of the ass. And then we're gonna eat the candy that came out of the ass. Then guess what happens to the candy after that? Then guess what happens to the candy we ate? I gotta do something. This is spinning out of control, Pam. This is just not... It's just the Scranton Times. No, then Newsweek picks it up, and then CNN does a story about it, and then YouTube gets a hold of you it. You know what? Huh? I really think the whole thing is just going to blow over in like a week or two. You're right. It will blow over. But it's not going to take a week or two. Do you know what this is for? Yes. Michael likes me to run the camera when he makes his apology videos. He says he needs a woman's touch. My favorite is the one for his mother. Hey, Mom. Happy birthday, belatedly. Sorry I forgot. I had put it on my calendar, and then Pam threw that out. The one I'd like to forget is the one for the condo association. And without denying the seriousness of the situation, I would just like to remind you that in much of the Netherlands, swimming naked is the norm. So in Norway, you'd be the weirdos. I need somebody to pick a card. One of the new people, please. Tony? I'll do it. All right, good. Thank you. Do not look at your card. Now, I've always said that to be a great salesman, is to have the ability to connect with people right here. So to be a great salesman is to be a king of hearts. Turn over your card. King of hearts. Very good, Michael. Really Shh. good. So I think in order for us all to work together well, we must come together as a family, and then we can all be a king of hearts. 
starts. That was fantastic. No, no, it's better than fantastic. It's super perfect. Don't, don't, don't. Today I'm headed to Philadelphia for the annual Northeastern Office Supply Convention. Oh, these things tend to be kind of crazy. All right, sure you don't want to come? Yeah. Gonna be fun. Change your mind, we can get you caught. A couple of years ago, I went to one in Hartford, Connecticut, and Todd Packer and I went to this bar and met a girl. And Packer decides to make out with her. Well, it turns out that her boyfriend is the bouncer at the bar. <laughs> Hilarious. The bouncer chases us out to Packer's vet, jump in the vet, he peels out, and I, <laughs> I don't make it to the car. Um, and the other bouncers caught up with me and really did a number on me. It was in the paper. But to answer your question, yeah, I am really excited about this weekend. Hi, I'm, I'm Dennis. Hello. How do you know Phyllis and Bob? Um, I work with Phyllis. I don't know Bob from Adam. I'm their vet. Oh. My practice focuses mostly on animal spirituality. Mm -hmm. We became close when I helped their cat through her feline leukemia. I have lost six of my cats to feline leukemia. It's, it's terrible. I... Well, you must sleep very well at night. I do. Not because of my job, because of Jesus. I just had the best, most romantic week of my life in Sandals, Jamaica. Went with a lady, and we laid on the beach and drank fruity drinks for free, because it was all inclusive. And then I flew back to Scranton, and then I lost one of my bags. Hey, Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Six hand, seven hand, eight hand brunch. So delicious. Dinner too. You know how they say take a chill pill? In Jamaica, I took one. The guy on the beach sold it to me for $40. And after I finished vomiting, I was more relaxed than I ever have been. Lost six pounds too. That's how I want every day to be. Oh, home sweet home. Think I'll have to talk about my trip much? Oh. Okay. 